Hello everyone, uh, I welcome you all to Dr. Rohini's 3, a channel dedicated to women's health. One of the common questions uh, we hear from mothers who has a daughter who has attained menarche recently is, my daughter's periods are irregular. So in my last videos, I had told you what is puberty, what is menarche and all. And today we will try to understand what is a normal menstrual cycle and why the cycles are irregular in these young girls. Uh, menstruation is an orchestra of hormones. Um, what happens uh, when, the, when, the, when she gets a period? The first day we call it as day one of the menstrual cycle. So on the day one, the estrogen and progesterone levels are very low. So the endometrial lining breaks down and it comes out through the vagina as bleeding. So this process takes five to six days for all the endometrial lining to get cleared. So what happens then after the, from day five to day six, uh, the hypothalamus in the brain starts secreting the hormones which act on the pituitary gland in the brain. So from the pituitary gland, two hormones are released, the FSH and LH, that is follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone. So these hormones, uh, starts acting on the ovaries. There are multiple small tiny follicles in the ovaries and uh, inside these follicles there are eggs. So uh, because of the effect of this FSH, uh, around 5 to 20 follicles are selected in each cycle. So when these follicles starts, uh, they will start secreting the hormone called as estrogen which acts on the uterine lining. So, and also out of all these follicles, any one of the follicle or one or two follicles, they will grow and they become the dominant follicles. Because of the effect of this estrogen on the uterus, the uterine lining starts building up and the thickness of the uterine lining increases and also the blood supply to the uterine lining increases. So, this process happens from uh, uh, up, to the, up to day 14 of the cycle. Around day 14 or day 15 of the cycle, again there is an, uh, the, the LH or which is uh, which is released from the pituitary it, it there will be an LH surge that is increased secretion of this LH hormone and that causes release of the egg from the dominant follicle around day 14 or day 15 the egg which is released gets uh, transferred through the fallopian tube and it reaches the uterine cavity so once the uh, egg is released the dominant follicle is converted to a um, corpus luteum in the uterus uh, the when the um, uh, when the when there is any sexual contact at around that time when the sperm reaches the egg and if it fertilizes this egg it becomes an embryo and it gets attached to the uterine lining and this is the process which happens in a normal pregnancy but when there is no sexual contact and there is no sperm and there is no fertilization this egg uh, this egg uh, disintegrates so when after um, uh, from the corpus luteum for the next 14 days it releases the hormone called as progesterone and this progesterone continues to act on the uterine lining and it further increases increases the thickness and makes the endometrial lining more stabilized and uh, uh, to make it if, if there is a pregnancy it wants to make uh, the it wants to make the environment congenial for the pregnancy so this is the effect of progesterone so when there is no um, pregnancy around tw day 28 or 29 of the cycle what happens this corpus luteum disintegrates so once the corpus luteum disintegrates there is no further production of pro progesterone or estrogen so the level of the progesterone and estrogen drops suddenly so when the these hormone levels drop suddenly there is no support for the endometrial lining so then what happens the endometrial lining disintegrates and this comes out of uh, the uterine cavity through the vagina as bleeding which we call it as menstruation this is how a normal menstrual cycle happens so this normal menstrual cycle is as a result of a normal functioning of what is called as hpo axis this is hypothalamo pituitary ovarian axis so but what happens in a girl who has attained menarche recently this hpo axis is not that matured enough to function normally so that is the reason uh, there is no ovulation which, ha which should happen regularly. So when the ovulation doesn't happen regularly, the periods definitely becomes irregular. So this is a normal phenomena in a young girl. So if a girl has attained menarche 
before 12 years of age it takes around 1 to 2 years for the hpv axis to get matured and in girls who are attend menarche between 12 to 13 years of age it takes around 3 years for the hpv axis to get well established and in girls who have attend menarche after 13 years of age it takes almost 4 to 5 years for the hpv axis to get matured so so you can understand this irregular periods is a normal phenomena in young girls and it may take years, maybe two years or four years or even up to five years for the HPV axis to become uh, uh, normal and to start functioning normally. So for these number of years, her periods, if it is irregular, there is nothing to worry uh, about uh, this situation. And the next question uh, which they commonly ask us is if a daughter gets periods, she will have bleeding continuously and uh, for a longer period of time. Even there is a reason for this one also. As I told, there is the HPV axis is not well matured, so there is no ovulation. So once uh, because there is no ovulation, there is no effect of the progesterone. It means the effect of the estrogen continues. So that is an unopposed action of estrogen. So the endometrial lining continues to build up, build up, build up, and the thickness becomes more than in a normal menstrual cycle so once the uh, building up uh, ability of the endometrium stops it breaks down so when it breaks down the entire thickness of the endometrium takes you know long time to completely get cleared off so the bleeding is more and she bleeds for uh, more days which is also considered normal so in a normal menstrual cycle yeah, for these young girls uh, it may range from 21 days to 45 days if your daughter gets periods even once in 21 days it is considered normal if she gets a periods once in four up to 45 days is also considered normal there is nothing to worry about it and if she gets uh, if she changes three to six pads in a day that is also considered normal and also the duration of bleeding if she bleeds even up to seven days it is considered as normal so this is all about the normal menstrual cycle in my next video i'm going to tell you what is considered as abnormal periods in these young girls and when the mothers should get alerted and when the mothers should approach the doctors and what could be the reasons for all these all these uh, ir abnormal menstrual cycles in these young girls till then take care bye namaste if you like these videos, please like, comment and share and for more updates on women's health, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell.